As a sales director, I often create sales reports in which I need to summarize and emphasize related data in a table format. Luckily, in Microsoft Office Excel 2007, I can do just that. By placing my data in an Excel table, known as an Excel list in previous versions of Excel, I can use the many built-in table features to manage, calculate, and format the data independently from data elsewhere in the worksheet. I'm ready to create a table for my next sales report, so I start by selecting my confection sales data. Because I want to give my report a professional look at the same time, on the Home tab, in the Styles group, I click Format as Table. Much like the auto-format styles in earlier versions of Excel, any of these table styles instantly applies a professional-looking format to my data. If I can't find a format that I want to use, I can even create my own custom table style. I think I'll go ahead and choose this style, and then confirm my decision by clicking OK. When I use a table style to format my data, I'm automatically placing the data in a table, and all of the table functionality comes with it. Let's have a closer look at the table that contains my sales data. The banded rows make it much easier to scan large amounts of data. The table has a header row in which I can display appropriate names for the table columns. Filtering is automatically turned on so that I can easily sort and filter my data by clicking the built-in drop-down arrows. To calculate my data, I can add a calculated column. The formula that I enter in the first cell of a calculated column is automatically applied to all of the cells in that column, and all of the formulas are adjusted for each row to calculate the data. You might have noticed that when I click anywhere inside the table, I have access to the table tools. On the Design tab, I can specify an assortment of table options. I want to add a total row to my table, so I click the Total Row checkbox in the Table Style Options group. In the total row, I can use a variety of functions to calculate totals for the data in each column. I think I'll select the SUM function in the empty total row cells. Notice how the formula in the total row refers to the name of the table header. The use of table header names in formulas is a new feature in Office Excel 2007 called Structured Referencing. At any time, I can add a row or column to my table. Since my table has a total row, I simply select the last cell of the last row above the total row and then press Tab to insert a new row. See how the data that I type in the new row immediately assumes the format of the other data in the table? I can also type data directly adjacent to a column to include that column in the table. Notice how I just created a calculated column. By selecting the cells, I can also use structured references in the formula. To add new data in the middle of the table, I need to insert a blank row or column first. When I right-click anywhere in a table row, I can insert a new row above that row. When I insert a new column, it appears to the left of the column that I right-clicked. Notice how the table header is immediately updated to match the names in the other columns. Now, all I have to do is enter my data in the empty column cells. Because my table has a total row, I need to make sure that I select the function that I used in the other columns. After entering the average data in the last cell of the total row, I've completed my confection sales report. I like the way it looks, especially the banded rows. Now that I think about it, it would be nice to use these banded rows on data that I don't need to be in a table. No problem. I can simply convert any table to a regular range of data. As you can see, the formatting remains, but the data is no longer in a table. The table headers are just headers now, and the sorting and filtering arrows are gone. Calculated column formulas are also converted, and structured references are regular cell references again. Now I'll switch my data back to the table format using the undo feature. My data looks great. Excel tables are the way to go when I need to deliver my sales reports.